Hi, I'm Lucy Cuthew. I'm the author of Blood Moon and as it's such a lovely day I've come outside to sit under a tree where we can see the blue sky and hear the bird song to tell you a little bit about my book. Blood Moon is about the online shaming of a teenage girl called Frankie who is very much into astronomy and stargazing with her best friend Harriet and they have this lovely ambition to take a photograph of the Blood Moon. One afternoon Frankie and her crush Benjamin share an intimate moment and during that time her period starts. Between Frankie and Benjamin they decide it's only blood, then maybe a little bit embarrassed. The next day a meme starts to circulate the school, a very graphic meme detailing what happened between her and Benjamin and before long it's spread to the internet and Frankie starts to find her life unravelling in quite a serious way. I wrote the story after I had read So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson, which is this amazing book putting together the stories of people who've been victims of online shamings. And while I was reading it, I started to think, what would this be like for a young person? At the same time, I was talking to young people and I was finding out that actually it does happen to them all the time. We all know that being bullied is horrible in any context, but online it's so much worse because of the sheer volume. And so I felt like it was a really important story to tell what, what actually does happen to a teenager when their life is taken over by the internet in this brutal and relentless way. And as well as that, I was thinking about periods and I was thinking about periods in YA novels and I was just considering that you don't see them anything like as much as they have happened to me in my life. And I've actually got endometriosis which causes heavy painful periods and takes on average eight years to diagnose and one of the reasons it takes so long to diagnose is that we don't talk about periods and if you don't talk about something it's very difficult to understand it and that leaves the door wide open for shame to come in and so it felt really important to me to actually talk about periods in quite a frank and honest way. I think my book would appeal to fans of Sarah Crossan because it's in verse and perhaps also fans of Holly Bourne because it's quite emotionally honest um, and I also think it would appeal to fans of sex education. At the end of the book there is a really uplifting scene with an assembly which is based on real events that I read about in the news about real young people who did things like this to try and reclaim their shame. So I hope it will be empowering for young girls to read and grown-ups alike and I hope you will enjoy it as well. Thank you for joining me and this lovely sun.